Hi everybody, so today we're going to be talking about De Bruijn sequences. So what De Bruijn sequences, uh, or if that's how you pronounce it, so they're basically uh, sequences of containing substrings of length n, and these substrings are essentially uh, all the possible substrings of length n. So uh, if that makes sense, so yeah, it's like a string of characters, and this string of characters um, contains all the possible substrings of a set length n. So we're going to uh, firstly look into an algorithm uh, containing or of an algorithm of how to construct a de Bruijn sequence. So basically we're going to be constructing a directed graph and each of the nodes of the graph are going to be a substring uh, of length n minus 1 and all of these nodes together will represent all the possible substrings of length n minus 1. And we are going to connect those nodes with uh, directed edges that also uh, are labeled with numbers in a way that each node has the same number of in edges and out edges. So what that means is basically if we have um, a node here, so like this is an out edge and this is an in edge, so we're going to make sure each node has the same number of in and out edges. So <clears throat> we're going to start off by creating all the nodes with, uh, so say we're going to use the characters 0 and 1. Uh, that 0 looks a little deformed, so let's redraw it. So 0 and 1, and we're going to set n as 3. Oops. Okay, n equals 3. And then so we're going to fill these nodes with uh, substrings of length uh, n minus 1, which is 2. So let's uh, get all the nodes here first. Oh my god. Uh huh. And then this one's going to have 0, 0. And then this one's going to have 0, 1. And then this one's going to have 1, 1. And this one is going to have 1, 0. So now we're going to connect uh, these nodes. And the way we're going to connect them is, so we draw directed edges, so like from here to here first. And then uh, what do we, so we label all the edges with characters of length 1. So. Uh, how we label all these characters, so we can see that, okay, this node has digits 0 and 0, and to get from this uh, substring to this substring, we have to add a 1, and then remove the old, or the first digit. So we're going to keep doing this, uh, iterating through this graph until we draw all of the edges in. So, uh, let's see, so this one would be 1 since we added a 1 to get the substring 0, 1. And then from here we add another 1 because, so like if we remove the first digit and get uh, another 1, we can get 1, 1. And then we add a 0 to get 1, 0, which means that we label this edge with 0. And then we get from here to here by adding another 0 and removing the first digit. So yeah, and then at this point we want to keep um, adding edges to the graph because we have you know no uh, edges between these two nodes yet. So we're gonna adding, we're gonna keep adding these. So to get from zero one and one zero, we're going to add. So like if we get a zero one in here, we can get from zero one to one zero by adding another zero. So we're going to like add an edge here and then label this one zero. And then to get back from 1, 0 to 0, 1, we just add another 1. So we go like this. And then uh, we're not done yet because if we count the in and out edges of each node, so for example, this node has one out edge and one in edge. This one has, let's see, uh, two in edges and two out edges. So we're going to keep uh, adding on uh, onto these two nodes because they have the fewest number of L and N edges. So we're going to like do this. So we're going to add a node that leads uh, 
to itself. And then we're gonna label this one zero, since obviously to go from zero, zero to zero, zero, you just add another zero. And then same thing for this node, uh, one. And as we can see, we uh, each of these nodes has the same number of in edges and out edges now. So for example, this one has two um, out edges, so this one and this edge. This edge uh, serves as both an in edge and an out edge, so that's why we added the two edges onto the edge nodes. So yeah, so how we construct the Debrusion sequence now is we choose a node to start with, so say a zero, and then we uh, start off with zero, right? And then we're going to traverse it uh, in an Eulerian uh, manner, or like we're going to construct an Eulerian circuit. So we start with zero, zero. So we write zero, zero, and then we uh, start traversing the edges. So we start with this edge. Uh, we add a zero here since we traversed it. And then we say, let's, let's go this way. So we add a one to our sequence and then we have arrived at this node. So we add a zero one here. So let's see, uh, zero one. And then we add a one. So let's keep going this way. We add a one. And then, so we have a one one here. So we're gonna do one, one. And then there's another. There's another one here, so we're gonna add another one and then we uh, keep going so we go to one zero so we're gonna start traversing this um, graph now so we start from zero zero so we write a zero zero and then we start traversing so zero we add a zero and then we add a one uh, so we keep going this way and then one and then let's uh, label or let's scratch out all of the edges that we have visited. So, and then we keep going this way, we add another one. And then we come here and then we uh, remove this edge and we add another one. And then we add a zero. And then we add, so let's go this way, we add a one again. And then we add another zero. Uh, so we come back now, zero. And then we add another zero. And yeah, that should be our Debrusion sequence. Now let's verify that we have all the possible substrings. So we have zero, zero, zero. Uh, these three here. And then we also have, uh, let's see, zero, zero, one here. Zero, zero, one, and then we have zero, one, zero here. So let's see, zero, one, zero, and then we also have zero, one, one here, zero, one, one, and then we have one, zero, zero here at the end. So let's continue here, bear with me. And then we also have 101 here. Oops. And then we also have 110 here. 110. And then we have 111 finally here. So yeah, this is how you construct a De Bruijn sequence. We construct the uh, directed graph with all the edges labeled with single digit characters and then we have all the nodes labeled with uh, uh, with, some, uh, with substrings of length n minus uh, 1 to construct a De Bruijn sequence of all the possible substrings of length n. And as we can see, uh, just by traversing this graph in an Eulerian circuit, so it's basically visiting each edge exactly once, uh, we have constructed a De Bruijn sequence and we have just verified that because it contains all the possible substrings of length uh, of length 3 uh, that contain 0 and 1. So yeah, thank you for watching this video uh, and goodbye!